Hi guys and welcome back to another Things You Didn't Know in Dark Souls 2 video. I thought last one I was going to do was probably going to be the last one on the channel because there weren't really much left. Uh, I have managed to round up another three things. These ones are probably going to be a bit more minimalistic than before. They're not exactly pointless or anything like that. Uh, maybe a bit more people will know about these but I'm pretty sure more than half of you probably won't know all of them. But anyway, with that said, I'd also like to give thanks to 3,000 subscribers now. Uh, we've been growing quite fast lately, and I'm definitely going to um, dedicate more time to Dark Souls. Also, you can go and follow me on Twitter. I made that not that long ago, just in case you're interested, it's in the description. But anyway, with that said, let's get on to it. So, number one, there's not only just one way you can get Wrath of the Gods, there's actually two. A lot of people thought that the only way you can get it is going to the Blue Sentinels and getting those ridiculous 150 wins in the arena, which uh, you need loads of tokens of fidelity, blah, blah, blah. But if you're New Game Plus 2, you can actually come to um, Drenly Castle and talk to this uh, the ghost stem PC just here and he will actually sell it to you uh, this doesn't count if you use bonfire stakes it's got to be a legit new game plus plus to unlock this but it's a lot easier than getting up to 150 wins in it, I think. so now moving on to number two this one's to do with the emerald herald back in medulla there's more of a lore or curiosity perspective one I guess you'd call it so normally you can't actually see her right eye but if you get the right angle <laughs> I know this is kind of scary but you can actually tell that her right eye is a completely different colour than her left eye and I don't think there's a glitch or anything and if you kind of go and figure out her history a bit and learn about it it kind of makes sense the way she was born in that because that if you know what that means in real life it's kind of uh, to do with the generics at birth or some shit like that and if you know about her birth and all that it's not, it won't exactly um, normal or anything like that so uh, I think that's kind of curiosity and maybe on some of the DLC we'll know more about it or something since you don't show her right on the actual game that's kind of interesting to know anyway so moving on to the last one number three there's actually an alternative way you can kill the executioner's chariot the way you gotta do it is with a long ranged attack so you gotta hit him as soon as he pulls off this jump and if you do it perfectly and correctly he will kind of hang on there and he won't really be able to do anything to you and I kind of really really feel sorry for him like this uh, as soon as you attack him he'll fall to his death um, I don't believe he's got a little health, I believe you can do it with as much health as you want, so you're going to have to confirm that for me. But anyway, if you didn't know some of these, please go like and subscribe. Also follow me on Twitter, and we'll see you next time.